So I've been getting a lot of requests to do some more material and some songs on our guitar lele. If you want to call it a guitar lele, guitar lele, that's fine. I call it a guitar lele. So today we're going to do Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to You Like the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. That way you stay up to date on everything. And if you're ready to dive into this instrument a little bit more, I have a complete step-by-step -step video course up at ukulectepros.com. I'll put that in the link below. It's one of the first of its kind, and trust me, you will not be disappointed in that course if you're ready to really explore this great instrument. All right, so today we're gonna to do a power chord song, and this is Seven Nation Army. I think I did this on an Instagram story, and people were like, oh, I wanna learn that song, so here, I'm doing it for you. So let me play it for you, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I played it a little more fancy than the recording. I'm going to show you just how the recording does it, and then if you want to add a little bit more strumming with your right hand, that's totally cool. So power chords, we have two versions of them. You can do a two finger power chord like this, or you can do a three finger power chord like this. For today's purposes, I'm going to do a two finger power chord, so all the chords here are only going to be on strings six and five. Now when I strum, I'm going to use my index finger. No, even though it looks like my thumb, I'm just my thumb's just kind of holding my finger for a little bit of support. And all down strokes. Although I may demonstrate the chords with my thumb, when I actually play it, I'm going to use my index finger. All right, so let's just jump into it. This is the original key, so I wanted this to match the recording if you decide to play along with it. And it's a little bit different on the guitar lately than if you were playing it on the guitar. But as far as strings that you played on, but the chords are the same. So I'm gonna start right here, there it is, with the E power chord, right? So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna have your first finger on the sixth string, seventh fret, that's your E note, that's why it's called an E power chord. Then my third finger is gonna go down a string and over two frets, and it's gonna be on the fifth string, ninth fret. And when I play it, I'm only playing strings six and five, and notice I have to play those together, one clean stroke. I'm going to totally avoid hitting the fourth, third, second, and first string on this one. And, and that's a power chord. And power chords are neither major or minor. They're power chords. And the reason why they're not major or minor is because they don't have the third of a chord in them, like the E major chord does or the E minor. Not part of this lesson. We don't need to get into it, but just realize that. All right. So here you go. We got the E. We're going to actually go like this. We're actually going to hit it twice. We're going to hit it once. Let it rest a little bit or let it ring out and then hit it again. And then on that, right after the second time, we're gonna slide the shape up to the 10th fret. And that's a G power chord. All right, and then back to the E. So the first four notes are E, E, G, E. It's gonna sound like this. Again, with a little bit more authority. And. All right, so notice on that, I kind of slide up and then back to the E. All right, then it's just gonna walk down to the fifth fret. This is a D power chord. Then you're gonna walk it down to the third fret. This is a C power chord. And then you're gonna walk it down to the second fret. And this is a B power chord. Key, here's the key to these power chords. As you slide up and down this neck, make sure that the shape stays exactly the same. And the way you can look at it is that always remember that between your index finger and your third finger, there's gonna be a fret in between. So when you're sliding, as long as you maintain that distance, you're totally fine. What generally tends to happen is as we slide, these fingers kinda of close together. So just make sure you keep them apart. And that's the trick to these power chords. All right, so let's play this first part just nice and slow. And then there's, I'll show you the second part and then the, the little, uh, I don't know, bridge or chorus part of the song. Here we go. Now let's just loop that here a couple more times and
All right, so that's like part one. That's the first half of it. Now the second, the variation that they do on the track sounds like this. No, it's, it's almost exactly the same. It just adds a few notes at the end. So it starts right back here again at E, hit it twice, then slide it up to the G, 10th fret, back to seven, back to five, back to three, nothing new there. But then here, it's gonna slide back to five, back to three, and then to the two. So if I play the whole thing, it's That's it. That's the little variation. Okay, so let's try that. Just the variation part. Two, ready, and. Now, I'm sliding from the three to the five. And a slide is just, you hit the three and then you just slide it up. You don't have to do that. You can just hit the three and the five again, and then hit the three and the two again. So, whatever you want, it's totally fine. The slide's probably a little more difficult but it sounds cool to me. All right, so now what I wanna do is go back to back between the first part, which is. And then we'll do the second part, which is this. All right, so we're just gonna go back and forth between these two. All right, we'll play it a couple times. Here we go, ready, and. Now the variation, and. Now the final part to the song is this. All right, so these are power chords as well, but they're totally a different shape. All right, and so what it's gonna be is gonna be a G power chord here at the fifth fret for a whole measure, just in all eighth notes. And then you're just gonna slide it up two frets to the seventh fret to A power chord and do that entire measure of all eighth notes. All right, so what this power chord is, is I just take my index finger and I lay it flat over strings six and five, and that's it. And I just play those two strings again. Again, still avoiding string four, three, two, and one. So here's my G power chord, or G5, and I'm gonna do all down strokes again with my index finger, so one and two and three and four and. Then I'm gonna simply slide this up two frets to the seventh fret. This is an A or an A5 power chord and do the same thing. And that's it, just, just those two measures. Okay, so let's do that. Ready and. All right, and then you go right back to the beginning part or the part that I showed you already. All right, so let's put it all together now because that's it's not hard, but it's, it may take a little bit of time to get used to, okay? So we're gonna do this beginning part with the variation back and forth. We'll do that total two times, and then we'll do this new part, all right? And then we'll, uh, yeah, and then we'll go back to this beginning part, because that's really kind of a hard transition right there. So here we go. And then you just end on that E power chord there at the seventh fret. All right, before we get out of here, I just wanna show you a little bit what I'm doing because I know you're all like, what, you're doing something different. You didn't show us that. All right, so all I'm doing here is I'm just being a little bit looser with my strumming, all right? I'm just a little bit looser, adding some stuff that's not on original recording just because, I mean, that's kind of what I do. All right, so really some of the things I'm doing are Just adding a, a couple of mutes.
maybe a little vibrato. Just a little vibrato on the strings, right? Just, just some things to loosen it up a little bit. Have some fun with it, right? right but get the main part down. Get the, like the kind of standard, like the record. Actually play along with the record is a good idea. And then you can start adding some of these. So anyway, thanks for being here. That's your Seven Nation Army on the guitar lately. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.